Correct adjustments and repairs to the escapement will determine the accuracy and dependability of your movement. This is a recoil escapement. The momentum of the pendulum causes the escape wheel to recoil or reverse its motion before moving forward to the next tooth on the escape wheel and hence that gives us its name the recoil escapement. The recoil escapement is most common since it runs strong and it was really easy to, to manufacture. It could withstand years of accumulation of dirt and grime and you can find the recoil escapement on most American wall, kitchen, and mantle clocks. Now the escapement that we have on our Ingram, which was very common to the Ingrams, is called the half deadbeat. And I'll show you in just a moment with some examples of some verges as to what the differences are. And the strip palette here, let's look, take a close up look at this. This strip palette that is bent into shape is called the verge. Now the verge on the half deadbeat and the recoil escapement are shaped differently. And that's one of the primary reasons why they have their different names. Now the verge is made from flat steel and each of the pallet ends are hardened and polished. Now the half deadbeat also does recoil like the recoil escapement but not as dramatic. And I'm going to move the pendulum rod by hand so you can see the actual recoiling as it goes from tooth to tooth. Just giving you kind of an exaggerated view. Now let's look at the differences in the verges. Here are the two verges. This one here, this one is the recoil verge or recoil escapement. This one is our half deadbeat. Now you can see that on the recoil it's got this very heavily curved pallet. Now on this side it looks like almost like a 90 degree angle here. Whereas our half dead beat is very symmetrical. Now another interesting point about these is that this left pallet here is, is the actual entry pallet or where the teeth initially enter into the verge and exit on this side. Whereas it's the opposite on our deadbeat. They enter here, the first tooth enters here, and exit out this side. So those are the two main important visual observations that you will make to determine what type of escapement that you have. Now there are many other escapements that were made, but these are the most popular and the most common ones that you will come across.